I went out to get my mail, and then I saw that there was a software update on the car. So I figured I'd go down to outside and uh, fix it. But uh, that was open. It's now occupied, so I'm kind of standing out in the middle of the at least until the download finishes, then I'll just go park back in my spot. But what we're getting today is 2020.24.6.1, which uh, should offer some pretty interesting updates. We get the ability to uh, see the side cameras on reverse, and depending on which point upgrade I'm looking at, we could also have the ability to uh, proceed through green lights if there's a, uh, a car to chase which is pretty cool. Before the update, this is what I'm looking at for my rear view camera. And the, well, in this case, the park assist, uh, but that's not really a parking space. I'm not mute. I want not this time. So what I expect to see next is the rear view or the side view cameras right about here. Well, if this article from Inside EVs and uh, Electric is right, then this particular update might see a 225 kilowatt charging speed for me. It might not because I don't have a Raven and nobody will confirm, but I did get the bump from 150 to 200 kilowatts, so we'll see what happens on this update for us. So, just a few more moments for it to finish downloading. It's at the stage where it's not actually pulling any bits down but it is taking time, so we'll see what happens next. If the last segment was recorded was any good, then it was recorded on my cell phone. Sorry about the change in quality, but the car's finished updating and we're gonna go park it, look and see what the changes are. And this is gonna be a quick intro video and then uh, we'll take it out for a drive over the week and over the weekend to see what's really different. <laughs> you know, the, the hidden deep dive stuff that we usually do. All right, so we're not going to enter the pin to drive. Ah, the tune-in logo, that's not something I recall. And it did have the notes until I used the brake to close the door, which popped up the pin to drive. So we get updates to traffic light and stop sign control beta, backup camera improvements. I think that it's using a little Model X there. I don't know if everybody else's will be or not. Dash cam viewer improvements, tune in improvements, walk away door lock improvements, and new language support. There's rumor that this version includes supercharger V3 updates. We'll see about that. I'm hearing a electronic hum from somewhere. It sounds like the screen, but it probably is not. That's interesting. But uh, from there, let's go ahead and see what we can see in this update. So I keep my camera up all the time. So let's see if we can see it from here. All right, so you need to be in full screen view for that to work. So here we've got our left camera and our right camera. All right, so it's a pull down. Now let's see what happens if I pull down from here. No? All right, so it looks like we might not be able to use it while we drive. Okay, so the car started. We shift into reverse, and it doesn't automatically present itself. But if we do that, it does. Shift into drive. I'm not gonna get going fast enough into the garage here to make them disappear. But let's go to the garage and see what happens. Not bad. I would like it better if I could use them while driving. Or say, if you turn your signal on, it would show the right, the appropriate side. All right, let's see if I can get fast enough to turn them off. I don't think I can. 
so that's 18. That's 20. Yeah, they didn't turn off, so. Yeah. Parking. Let's see how this is with parking, because that's kind of where it's important. Isn't it? That bird's nest is making a mess. Uh, birds have started nesting shortly in front of my parking space. All right, I kind of like that. I kind of like that a lot. Got some neighbors coming by. There we are. Not bad. Hold motors on so we don't have a repeat of the last time where the car tries to roll back. All right, so put it in park. Look at our list again. Light and stop sign control beta. So we do have the ability to follow a lead car through a green light. So we're gonna try that out. Uh, the backup camera improvements. Let's see if they say anything about that because in the beta, videos I saw, people were able to activate them while driving. Mine does not say that. When your vehicle is in reverse, swipe to display the repeater camera video feeds. Or simply tap application launcher camera parking assist button. Swipe or tap the arrow. It's a start. And I like it. I just want them on all the time now, <laughs> now that I've got them. All right, so let's take a look at the dash cam viewer improvements. Um, the tune-in improvements. Improve the usability and discoverability of tune-in stations and podcasts. Easier to browse. They've added uh, playback speed. That's nice. They've added the playback speed changes. And uh, I'm not going to mess with the walkway door locks because as you see, I park in a shared parking space. And the new language updates, uh, they've got Portuguese now. I don't uh, read or speak Portuguese, sorry. And then it also says it includes minor bug fixes. So let's do dash cam and then we'll go to, um, um, oh, I'm not in park. There we go. We'll do dash cam and then we'll go into, um, so we hit the camera. Instead of save footage, we're going to launch the viewer. All right, so that was me just parking the car. Yep. Let's do sentry mode and see. There's the red dot, so that's what triggered it. Was this guy getting in his car? His truck. Okay. We can go a little bit before that if we want to. There he is. All right, so what I would say is go a little bit before your dot, at least on your old footage. Let's check another one out. This is the same guy, and then this one across from me. One more. Let's see if we got one somewhere else. Fredericksburg. All right, so it queued itself up. I like that. And then it's uh, Rico's Model X leaving. And then on the left we can see Purcell's car, my Model S. It's Rico driving, uh, walking by. There we go. So those are our dash cams. So I do have a tune-in subscription, or not subscription, but I do have a uh, a little bit in my tune in. The What Drives Us show. We're going to go record that next. Um, oh, I've got the volume off. There we go. They get real creative with their titles, don't they? <laughs> so we can skip forward and back. 15 seconds. 
piece of candy. All right, so then we'll hit the uh, skip button, and it skips the whole song. So you do need to use your welcome to what drives us episode your 15 minute skips. With me, this amazing panel. Let me introduce them so we can get this show on the road. My co-host and good friend, Mr. Hey, everybody. How we doing? So the 2X would be really nice on some of those super slow podcasts. All right, so that is a quick look at the new update 2020.24.6.1. And uh, let me confirm that. Yeah, 2020.24.6.1. Let's go through the menu real quick, and that way when we go do the further uh, deep dive, we'll be able to just go into the tests. Uh, while I pull all this up, we're going to remind you that we've got a Patreon in the link down below. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, if you scroll down below this video and you see that the uh, the subscribe button is red, please click it and I'll turn it gray. We're trying to get a thousand subscribers. And what that will do for you is it'll let you know whenever we come out with fresh content, like these quick intros to software updates, the deep dives, software, uh, software reviews, yes, but also the supercharger reviews and Anything else that's really about owning a uh, Tesla or other EV. So let's take a look and see what we get here. Our navigation data is still the same. Nothing else has changed here. The services. Let's see if any notifications. So it looks like those clear at every update. We can still format our USB device. All right, so I don't see anything different on the menus. Next thing we're gonna do is check and see on my music settings if those have been adjusted. Because sometimes those get adjusted. Still on high. All right, so we're good to go there. So I'm gonna put a link up here with uh, the deep dive and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you. One thing I did notice that is still bothering me, my exterior lights stay on auto, but my interior lights, they're on auto now, but um, one thing I've been finding is that as you go into an entertainment app, sure, um, and then when you come back out, your interior lights are not always still on auto. It appears they fixed that bug. Maybe, because now I don't have any screen. <laughs> right, let's put the pin in. Oh wow. Okay. So we got the we got that weird reboot on the uh, on the screen there. Let's go back to lights again. And there's still a lot of so it looks like they may have fixed the bug. All right, with that, now we'll catch you on the flip side.